here with Mr. Goodall and a special box which has just arrived today. This morning, yeah. So we don't know what's in the box yet, but I do really. It's a light. Um, oh, go on, mate, you open it. Uh, this, you've got to be careful this bit. Yeah, that's why I'm not doing it. <laughs> MX4 Forever. You want to take it out? Yeah. Yeah, you can do it. All right, all right, all right. It's your baby. Mm, you should see. Don't drop it. <laughs> Keep the box. Have a look. Have a feel of it. Let's have a feel of the box. Look at this. This is. Oh. Is there cigars in there? <laughs> yeah. That's cute. Go on, open her up. Look at this. We got the dispatch note, that's always good. Dispatch note. And then I think there's. Who's this guy? I'm sure you've probably heard of him. <laughs> and if he knows who you are. Of course he does. Probably <laughs> giving me a few penalties. A little picture. And then. Exploded diagram. No manual. No. Don't need one of them. I'm not intending on taking it apart anytime soon. And then, uh, the main event. There you go. Well, look at this bad boy. Look. Let's do it. There you go. Oh. So, MX4 Forever. That's what I do. This, this is what it's called. It's because I've got some beefy tyres on it. <laughs> yeah, um, Pat and Chuck France as well. That, uh, oh, no way. Himself. Remember, he was a bit of a. Uh, Bit of a guru at that, as you can oh, see. We've got the line. He did a say up to 100 sets. So they made 100 of these. Each one cut out by him. Nice. Well. So, all pretty authentic. I mean, this is cool, and we're in a perfect place for it because there's also a retro call behind us. But this is brand new retro. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. So, this is not the way it looks. Yeah, it does look good. <laughs> but, um, I mean, tell us about it. I mean, it's, uh, straight away I can see lots of T-Works products on it. Oh, really? So yeah, I wouldn't have been using that. Oh, right, okay. Sound yeah. bubbles. So, Screws. G-Force, I think, are involved with the manufacturing, which I think is the company that Sony works with now. Yes. They make yeah. that rear motor car yeah. electronics and stuff. But the concept, I believe, is that this was an evolution of the uh, MX4 that we both raced at the point. And I think... The story goes they were going to race the 2001 Worlds, which then got cancelled with 9-11, and they shelved their off-road project, which I think this would have been eventually what they got to, or at least what they believe. Um, it probably wouldn't have quite looked like this at that point, but lots of evolution later, and this is what I think they, they hoped they would have got to. And they've made a hundred of them, all hand-built. There's some really good uh, documented places on YouTube that's shown loads of updates. Um, in the Southeast workshop, showing that we've been put together, all the parts lined up, um, and that's it. So, 100 of them, and number on the front, it's got a serial number on the front, a gold number. Number 67. Number. 067. So, yeah, because obviously we both had an MX4. Um, so, Masami. But the production one. The production one. <laughs> so, Masami took the MX4 to the 97 Worlds in the USA. Yeah. And um, dominated, it's fair to say. Absolutely smashed everyone to pieces. Made it a very uh, sought after product, but when we first drove it, it wasn't. Well, the I remember they came back and ran them at the T side national, having brought them back from the States. They played them, Craig Drescher, and the car looked so cool. So it's like, I really need one, run one. And when they announced it was going to be out that winter, so we spoke to CMA and got a deal on one then, and lo and behold, it was the same week. And uh, it was nothing like the. Uh, <laughs> well, they were running, wasn't it? That's kind of it. No, um, I mean, it was. Uh, I remember t straight to Tim at the national, wasn't it? That's it. Only bit of running was outside the house just to literally check it worked. Yeah. And it was a bit of a, a bit, bit of a pig, a, honestly. A bit of a shock awakening in that moment. <laughs> yeah. We had the front bumper just digging into the dirt because it was yeah. about 45 degree angle down. Yeah. And, and about, about 45 mil and out of front. About 200 kilos heavier than <laughs> it should have been. I remember they had a double and I had to hit this double absolutely flat out to stop it just nose diving. Yeah, that was it. And yeah. then we ended up heating up the bumpers and bending them to at least stop it from digging in. But. Uh, and it had quite an ugly front shock tower, the MX4. This one's kind of adapted it, but yeah, it's it, it had like a lug tower. to it. Yeah. I remember because... It was just so flat and bulky, wasn't in it? My, in my juvenile state, I thought it looked a bit like a rabbit, so I painted it white and put some rabbit ears on it. Don't excuse me. I don't, I don't. Even then, I didn't think the task would be done. 
Oh, yeah, there's no oil in them. No, I was going to say, <laughs> there's no oil in <laughs> them. So I'm guessing these are like G-Force, big boys, the threaded ones. They look quite nice. Yeah, they do look quite nice. The arms are a machine Delrin. Oh, okay. So that's so, so. Bring this camera into the game. So I'm here. sure there'll be people able to make those again. Yes. If anyone wants to actually run the car. I did see on all the threads I've been on, somebody's bought two with the intention of running one. Someone's got too much money, eh? It's brave, I think. I like the way they give you a few setup chip like things here, but I guess that was just, <laughs> just a, a G Force product. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know that much. And the try. under tray's molded as well, it's quite cool. It's necessary to glue the tires and wheels and inject shock oil. <laughs> in the little bleed hole. <laughs> yeah, just inject it through so the top. Bits of T works then. So, the so we've got T works screw set. Right. These okay. gold screws. The turnbuckles look like T works to me. They look a little different, but I mean, they, yeah, they're definitely T works style. Nice. Um, and then the wheels, T works. I don't know if they've had a hand in anything else they might have done. Obviously, uh, I didn't know there was any connection with them in the G port stuff. I just not, don't think so. No, I don't think so. Yeah, it looks it looks cool. Like the body's quite. They're all painted by the same guy that did all the Simon's ones as well. I know that is. Whatever that is. Um, Japanese. Yeah, got the Masami sticker signed, in front. Signed by him and his dad. That's cool. Yeah. And the Masami sticker in the front is the coolest bit. <laughs> that guy. Yeah. Wicked. Pretty legendary. So yeah. I mean, what a beast when you're running it. <laughs> yeah. No. Not going to work. Yeah, well, sit back in there and then. Uh, you know, they do them memes now. It's like stuff that's disappeared and forgotten that, and we never knew it was going to go. Yeah. Like the last well, like last piece of your mates or whatever. But under trays in RC. I've just disappeared. Yeah, but see, the vintage stuff I run, they've still got. They've still got them, so yeah. It's not that unusual thing, but. Yeah, yeah the introduction of side guards really made the under tray and not a thing anymore. I remember, you know, the screws falling out the front, you have to drag the thing around. And the fun of actually cutting them out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look at that, what a beast. What do you think? Like it? I mean, it looks quality, doesn't it? It does. They've done a nice job. And it's quite a cool, cool project. And I think it was just an opportunity that they were never going to present itself again, really. Not something they're going to do in the future. No, I mean, look at that rear shock tower as well. I like the way they've used like the fine weave, almost silver carbon. Yeah, it, doesn't normally, it almost doesn't look real, does it? No. Like what do you think of it, like layout wise and stuff? Do you think like the car would actually. Work Where does, what, what is this closest to in terms of the last modern four wheel drives? Would you say back then? Well, it's got some really nice things for me. The belt runs either side of the slipper, which is quite unusual but quite a good thing in okay. belt drive cars. Um, and the motor place, I mean, the battery's down on the side here, which is yeah, I mean, that wouldn't have been like that in 2001, would it? Because no, we'd have, we'd have had motor. saddle packs, surely. So there would have been, so that would have been different. I mean, Looks like it should work quite well. Let's go try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. It would be good to see it running. I would like to see one, but just not now. Yeah, that's it. Needed some gold shock shafts on there. I wonder if people will make any uh, option parts for this. They've said initially there were going to be a load of spare parts you could order, and then someone said this morning that that's now not the case, yeah. and it'd be too expensive. So I guess also the risk would have been people would have built cars up from buying the spares yeah because like, making a chassis probably wouldn't be too difficult if you templated it no but all the other bits but they've made a hundred of every bit at least obviously so you think making a few extra sets of wishbones would yeah i mean out for people they do want to run it i mean what not exactly it looks quite strong to be fair there's lots of metal it's definitely old school in its front end design yeah not a lot of adjustability though is there not a lot of adjustability like. yeah but I mean, no one's really going to race them like you say so no but this is obviously what Masami wanted to use. Is this is his MX4 forever car? They've got some videos of them running it on dirt tracks. Yeah, stuff, which hard to tell from the video, but it's still it looks look cool. Maybe I'll message him and ask. Ask for a go. Well, Craig mentioned getting ready for a revival. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Race car. That would be cool. I wonder what the tires are. They got no mark, no no names on them. Or G Force something. Oh, it's G Force. Massive. I mean, the front ones are huge. Oh, they're both They're like the old bow ties, like bike. pro line bow ties. Yeah, yeah. They feel nice. Yeah, I mean, they feel like they'd be really fun to drive. Something we're missing there. They'd almost meet in the middle when they blew up. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it looks like it's got touring car, like gearboxes on it. Very okay. touring car style in there. Okay. 
trust your word on that. Yeah. Well, again, it's not have a lot of adjustability either, is there? Everything's fairly no. Campbell links and stuff. There's a few, but nothing, not like modern stuff at least. No one way. So it's got some old school mods, I guess. Well, there we go. Well, we thought we'd come and do a quick video on it to give you guys a quick look because I'm sure everyone's just receiving them now, right? I think there's been loads. I think probably one of the last ones. Oh, no. So we're, we're the last of the, uh, the features, <laughs> is that what you're saying? Yeah. At least it's all got a little place for everything. Not the way it's all neatly tucked away because it will be back in here for the kids' inheritance one day, I expect. Kids' inheritance. <laughs> You're now girls are looking at it and go, what? <laughs> and just throw it in the What's trash. This old toy. Yeah. See, the other thing with putting bodies on the under trays is always a pain in the ass. I'm mm. then you do that. Oh, okay. I'm not going to no damage it. No pressure on this. Well, there we have it, ladies and gents. MX4 forever. <laughs> it's that back bit. Off and back on. No, it's my fault then. Sweet. Well, cheers, Nick. Cheers, guys. MX4 forever. Cheers, Masami and Masaki. What a cool looking thing. Back in this box for us. Back in this box. With his picture. <laughs> That's quite satisfying. It fits nice.